To become world heavyweight champion these days, you've got to be a lot bigger than a cruiserweight. What, you didn't like Usyk? Too small. No, 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 but Usyk... Remember when I said, leave these brilliant questions in the comment section below? Can <laughs> we'll start leaving some brilliant <laughs> questions in the comment section below? Welcome to Talk Boxing, the Q&A with Simon Jordan and Spencer Oliver. Don't forget to keep liking and subscribing to the channel. Keep leaving the questions that fuel this show. And, 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 and what? <laughs> and what? And introduce and me, let's mate. Get on and the introduce show. Me. Let's do it. <laughs> How you doing, Simon? I'm all right. I'm Good. okay. I'm originally, I'm originally, inevitably, <laughs> going to get past the beginning of this <laughs> show. Right? Untie your tongue, mate. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Take the toffee out of your mouth. Well, it's different, isn't it? Normally, your tongue's at someone's backside. <laughs> Mine's tied up in knot, isn't it? Anyway, Mark Hilton yeah. kicks us off. Do you think any of the current cruiserweight world champions have the potential to become a heavyweight world champion? No. Yes, neither do I. No, that's yeah, too answer, small. Then. Too small. I think the heavyweight, the proper heavyweights now, the heavyweights are, are full-blown heavyweights now, aren't they? You know, we're going up into the 20 stones and whatnot. I think the current proper cruiserweights, yeah, they're good. And a lot of people will say, well, cruiserweights, we use their speed. But I just think to become world heavyweight champion these days, you've got to be a lot bigger than a cruiserweight. So that, that's my that's my reasoning behind it. What, I think like Usyk? Too small. No, 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 but Usyk... What, you puggles? No, no, you, you're talking about the current crop of... of, of yeah, no, so yeah. I'm talking about... And the current heavyweight champion in the world yeah, yeah, is he's a, a, a former cruiserweight. cruiserweight. Former so cruiserweight. is Amanda Holyfield. Yeah, but what I'm saying is he had size. The current what am I working with here? <laughs> the current cruiserweights have not got size, is what I'm saying. Well, they're smaller, than, they're, they're smaller than Usyk. Yeah, absolutely. So, if Richard, so do you think Richard Riakpo will win a world cruiserweight title? Well, he's not world cruiserweight champion, Do you think he will? Possibly. Right, do you think he's then big enough? Possibly, yeah. Right, but okay. he's not, he's right. not the but world the cruiserweight crop. champion. The current you crop. Yeah, you said the current so we, cruiserweight champion. So who have we champions. got? We've got Opatea. Right? Opatea, yeah, right. too small. Too small. Yeah. Who else we got? Gal Um Chris Billum smith Granted, too, too small. small. Yeah. Yeah. Breedis was beaten by uh, Opatea to win the world yeah. title, wasn't it? Yeah. So who's the other one? Gal Yeah, too small. Too small. Okay. That's what I'm saying. You said the current crop, but that's what I'm saying. The, the current heavy the but champions you, at the moment. But you used it, but where you went off on a tangent, which oh, nobody so it's understood. My, so it's, not, it's my that fault that I, was, was I, I answered the question right. correctly. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, I do. Yeah. yeah I understand with yeah. the Usyk yeah. thing. And, okay. Yeah. So we both agree that his current crop of cruiserweights probably aren't, cap put a size to one side, right? But they're currently... Putting the other cruiserweights in, in the world right now mm. out of the equation that are not champions. Yeah. Okay. King's, <laughs> king size Homer. Is up next. Right. Is that doesn't sound right, does it? King size Homer is up next. Right. Is is let's <laughs> work with his sort of stuff. Jesus. Is Canelo on his way? I used to own <laughs> businesses. I used to own a Premier League football club. I'm reduced to saying it's King size Homer up next. But um, is Canelo on his way to being the greatest Latin America fighter in history? Who would, you, um, who would you say was in that conversation? Right, who was in the would conversation? Would you say Roberto Duran? Uh, you've got to say Roberto Duran. You've got to say Julio Cesar Chavez. Yep. You've got to say Alexis Aguero, yep. who was free weight world champion, feather, mm. super feather, lightweight. Yep. Um, yeah, there's, there, there's a lot of good fighters. You know, you could talk about Marco Antonio Barrera, Eric Morales. There's a lot of great fighters out there, but Canelo is certainly, well, he, he's certainly up there with mm. all the greats. Is he, you know, to say that you're the greatest Latin American fighter of all time, that is a big scalp, to be yep. fair. Julio Cesar Chavez was 91 and 0. You know, yeah, that, like, yeah, yeah, it's remarkable. Yep. You know, he, was, he won world titles. At, he, won, he won five so is world he titles isn't he? at three weight divisions. I'm just giving you a bit of background in the Latin American fighters. Is okay. he or isn't he? He's well up there. Okay. Yeah. Del Boy. Hopefully it's not Derek Jazora. Oh, God. Um, who is the greatest body puncher of all time? Mike McCallum? <laughs> you got me. Or yeah, you nature. nicked it, haven't you? Yeah, Mike McCallum was a great body puncher. Yeah. Julio Cesar Chavez was a great body puncher. Um, Mickey Ward was a great body puncher. Oh. There you go. But yeah, you nicked my one, to be Mike fair. McCallum. Mike McCallum. Got in early. The Heartbreak Kid asks, who is the best boxer to have never won a world title? El Graham. Fuck off. I was going to say El Graham. I'm going fast. Yeah, you got, all right, yeah. so, right, so let's, let's name the fighters that he... Boxed for world titles and didn't fee. Julian Jackson. Right. Um, who Earl Graham lost to? Yeah, who Earl Graham lost to? Julian Jackson. Yeah. Callum Bay. Right. Are you, are you going to just ride my coattails? No, no, go on. I've, give I've me, give said me another Earl one. Graham, who, we need another one in the mix. Just for Mike you McCallum. 
Okay. Nobody okay. lost to on a, on a split. I just said Mike McCallum in a different yeah. incarnation. Yeah, yeah. I need for you to not follow him behind me like some demented. Yeah, but you're jumping in because you know where I'm going. El so, Bomagram is undoubtedly the greatest British fighter of all time. You didn't say British. Title. Who is the best boxer to have never won a world title? Would you put John Mugabe in the conversation? Mm. Well, he was very unlucky against... The beast. Yeah, he was very unlucky against Marvin Hagler, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very unlucky. He was winning that fight for 10 rounds, got knocked out in the 11th. Good, that's a good pick, to be fair. Um, yeah, John, John Mugabe is, is definitely up there. But I, I think you've got to go with a bummer, really. Do you think so? I'm honest, yeah. Sort of ended the discussion, really. That guy was unbelievable talent. Very, very unfortunate not to win a world title. Very unfortunate. OK. And the final question is from... Philippe Flop. Who's <laughs> so making got these names King up? Homer is up these, next. These are not Philippe real people. Asks, they're, they're not real, 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 real people. They can't be. Frank Sin. Bloody Pat, not Frank Sin at home with his pants on his ankles, making up names and putting questions yeah, to that's us. That's what he's doing. Right. Following the success of Fury, following the success of Fury's Netflix series, it's the Adams Family, <laughs> which boxer, past or present, would you have liked to see have their own reality series? You're going to say Naz? No, I'm not. But the trouble is, you got this is difficult because they've done, they've done a pro, uh, they've done a pro, uh, a film on this guy, Mickey Ward, Irish Mickey Ward. Well, of course, yeah. Yeah, no, but I think that a Netflix series with this guy, where he come from, Christian, you know, he's working, huh? Christian, Christian Bell. Played that's him, right, that's yeah. right. But you know, if you if you follow his life story, and you know, it's just been an incredible journey. And I think that yeah, Netflix series with him would have been brilliant. You don't think? Someone like Sugar Ray Leonard and his journey and all the things that he's done yeah, in his life. Yeah, that would have been good. Or Floyd Mayweather. Well, Sugar Ray more so. Yeah. Because I think that he's a, he, he, he like, I would just love to have seen the guy behind the camera. I think that's what it was. I mean, we saw so much yeah. of him on camera, didn't we? Yeah. So who yeah. have we said then? I just told you, Mickey Ward. Well, they've made a film about him. Yeah, no, but you said a Netflix series. It's a different thing. It's a series going into the guy's life when he was... I'll, I'll give up it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So they've made a film yes. about Mickey Ward. Yeah, I know right? they have. So we know everything about Mickey right. Ward. No, you right? don't know. So no, no, we're talking about, though, a Netflix series is something totally different to a film. What you're saying is... I know whilst, that. Yeah, but, no. but, but, but so what got, you, we, what's we your know, point? To some extent, Two we know things. about Mickey Ward okay. as a result of the film so, The Fighter. All right. So, right? so wouldn't, wouldn't you want to pick someone else rather than this lazy... Marvin Hagler. Follow me in. Marvin uh, Hagler. Marvin Hagler. Yeah, with the struggles right. that he had as right. well. Marvin Hagler would be my, my my ideal name. You? I'm trying to think who I would like to see. Well, I've got to go soon, so I know. speed it up a bit, mate. No, I can't think of anybody. <laughs> I, I think, see, you just no, give me a load of I can't think of anybody. It's because I think these Netflix series is a dog <laughs> I think they're all made up. I think they're all, people are acting for the cameras. Oh, all this brilliant. all or nothing. <laughs> or, or Drive to Survive. I think they're all staged right. and manufactured. Listen to Max Verstappen talking about Drive to Survive is a pile of crap. Who asked us that question, by the way? Philip Flop. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, Philip, it's a shit question. We don't it's a, answer. Yeah, it's, it's a flop of a question. <laughs> right. So, do you like the Furies? Have you watched it? Yeah, I don't mind no, it, to be fair, okay. because you get to know the person, don't you? You get to know the person, you know. I think it's quite interesting. I, I enjoy right. it, yeah. See the struggles that Paris has to go through on a day-to-day -day -day basis, mm. you know. Anyway, remember when I said, leave these brilliant questions in the comment section below. <laughs> King <laughs> will start leaving some brilliant <laughs> questions in the comment section below. So that's it. Myself and Spencer come back next week or the next time we're out with some proper answers to some proper questions. And we can make a proper show. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time we're out.